Okay, let's have a look at how bad debts and provision for bad debts affect our preparation for financial statements. So let's go down to the adjustments. And before we do that, actually, let's look at two and three to remind ourselves. Number two, if you look at it, you can see it's an accrual because wages unpaid, two and a half. And number three is a prepayment. It tells you that £700 of general expense were prepaid. So just remind you how you do it. Go up. Can you see I've already crossed out the original figures? I'm going to add the accrual. I'm going to take away the prepayment. And I should end up with these two new figures for those expenses. These two. And don't forget, we're going to put those in the profit loss account. That one and that one. Okay. Next, look at depreciation. Shot fittings depreciate by 10% using straight line method. So you can see in red the formula cost times depreciation percentage. The cost of the fixture shop fittings 4814. Let's times that by 10% and you get that. Computers is different, it's the reducing balance method, which is the net book value times the depreciation percentage. Now remember with net book value you find the cost, just do it in yellow. And then you take away the provision at the start of the year, take 749 from 1290, and then you times that by the 25%, which gives you 135. These two figures, the 481 and the 135, you put those in the profit loss account. Okay, bad debts. Actually, before I do bad debts, let's quickly go back to depreciation. Uh, we're going to update the provisions. So what you need to do is check out what, how much you depreciated shop fittings by 481. Go up to the provision for shop fittings which at the start of the year and add that same figure to the provisions. Update the provision to 2270. And that figure goes in the balance sheet there. Let's do it again. This time for computer equipment. The provision at the start of the year was 749. We depreciated in the year by, see the 135? We need to add that to the existing provision. And the new figure, 884, goes in the middle column in the balance sheet. Like that. Total it all. And you end up with that. Okay, last couple. The bad debts, it says. Bad debts of 560 are to be written off. So what I want you to do first of all, if you go up to where you've got your debtors, bad debts reduces debtors. So you need to take 560 away from the 8106 first of all. We're going to use that figure when we do the balance sheet. But all you do as well, you have to show 560 in the profit and loss account as you write off the bad debt. Lastly, the provision. Once you've written off the bad debts, you times the figure that you've got left. So let's have a look at debtors. Remember I took away 560, I ended up with 85,456. To calculate the provision, you times that figure by whatever percentage I give you in the Christian, and you get 1709. That figure also goes in there. Okay, let's do the balance sheet. Let's look at current assets. Now, debtors. We need to put in the debtors figure after we wrote off the bad debt. So remember that figure I said we'd come back to? 85456. That figure goes here. Now watch which column I'm putting in the first column this time. We haven't used it before, but it goes in here. And what we do now is we have to do a new line and we're going to take away that provision we just created in the adjustment number 7. 1709. Okay, do not deduct it from debtors. You take it away there. Bring the number over. So that's the subtotal. 83747. Add it up, you get that. Like so. Don't forget. Sorry, actually. Go back. Prepayments go in there. No, they forgot. And they go before bank and cash. Okay, last bit, don't forget about your accruals. Okay, from the question, there's two and a half thousand wages. If you work your way down, this is normal, you should get a balanced set of accounts. It's 93756, 93756.